Boy, that's a mess. Time to redo this whole system. Amps missing here. Well, got the cross over there. Look at that wire mess. Ooh. Ooh, look at that screw hole. Oh, no. Gonna be an upgrade coming soon. Let's go yank this all apart. Shadows, you know, PA audio joint. Actually, I got two more. I'm about to put them all in. It's gonna be, should be three of them. This was the temporary setup, so that's it. Take this amp rack out, take this Q-bomb box off, you know, and work from there. Oh yeah, it's a wire mess. Alright. Basically, um, disconnected all the speaker wires. I got 8 gauge, by the way, for the subs. But this is a 2.0 cubic feet box, so that's why I'm removing that too. We're going to change the box. We're gonna change the amps. We're gonna keep all the ramps. Um, this is actually gonna stay here. Um, I got a HD 3000 that's gonna go for the mids here. This is gonna be for the tweeters. Then I have a MD 3000 that's gonna be here for the for the bass. Um, fuse blocks is staying. I'm debating if I'm gonna add a second one um, for more power, depending. I don't have to remove too much, like all these power lines here, all these speaker wires. I don't really have to remove any of those. Um, do gotta remove the remote wire, which is somewhere in this mess, and the chuchetos here too, which I can disconnect now. Yeah, I got it with connectors, so it'd be easier, you know. So I could disconnect quickly. So here's all that I don't need. Um, to be honest, I don't even know which color is the remote here i know usually somebody's gonna be like it's blue it's blue no i know but i don't have mines here blue see i have a green one here i have a blue one there i'm looking for the main one that i did because i did this uh back in 2020 and the i kind of rushed it oh yeah well there it is it's blue it's back here actually uh, so i'm gonna have to snip this thing um, oh, I got it in here. I see it. It's on this mess stuff. Let's get this out of the way. Sorry if it's all crazy, my view. I'm working on. Can't hold the camera and work at the same time. It's kind of difficult. We'll get there. Alright. Uh, once I get it out, I'll show you guys. And then I'll show you the amps and stuff I'll be putting in here. So... All right, all right, got it out. Woo! I'm close to look so you guys can really see the mess I made here. So yeah, so basically, I know the amp is missing the middle, so you don't really understand much. But these wires here, right here. This is for the middle amp. This is the wiring for the. I had a four channel. I had the uh, Teramps TS 2000 by four. Um, it's a pretty good amp. It's just not for the power system I was running. That that amp I believe was for 14 volts, and I'm running a 12 volt system in here. You know I'm gonna have a second battery as well, but we'll get to that later. But yeah. That's gonna be the setup. I'm gonna fix up keeping the amp rack. And this is what the trunk looks like. So we have two grounds. Two grounds, only have one power line. It's dead, don't worry, I didn't gotta tape it. It's dead. I got the, and here's all the eight gauge I have to do for the new sub box. I have a Q-Bomb VL. 
that I'm gonna put in here. Actually, brand new. Have another car right now just sitting in there. But yeah, this is the mess I gotta clean as well. This is all the wiring that's coming from the head unit, like RCAs, and then some of this is like this is the Chuchetto wire, but like the RCAs here. This um is actually for my six by nines. These wires here, which is you know these right here. Um, I might disconnect them because I'm not gonna do interior speakers anymore. I'm just running Trucheros, so I'm actually gonna disconnect them. But yeah, this is the Q bomb um, TB12s, I believe. This Q bomb. I'll show you guys in a sec. So I know a lot of you guys are like, "What subs you're running?" I got. Oh, there you go. Got the DB Dry 12s right there, and. You'll see them in the new box, it'll be pretty cool.